Listen, all you teens out there being all like into the environment and crap, I don't care anymore. I want to know what you think, not what I think. Tell me. You're bending your will to this whole government rule you thing, censorship. Tell me what you believe in. Um, Revolution Boy, you're saying how our government's corrupt. But bribery is no longer present in the election of our government officials. Everyone has an extreme background check. Everyone has morals. And people actually care about the citizens now. It's no longer just a front or it's not based on, you know, fancy words or how far someone's overcome. And it's, it's about being an actual representative of the people. People all around us are talking about, like, you know, the economy and how it's all bad nowadays and, like, leisure and, like, how everybody loves all these stupid things like yoga. I mean, I just, I don't see it. And then how everyone says everybody else is fat. I'm not fat. I'm regular. I'm normal. 50 years ago, our economy was not looking so hot. But after the government bailout was successful, we've actually managed to keep it pretty stable. The job today, after being uh, run through the education system, people are more equipped to handle um, basically harder jobs. The machines, I mean, they do the lower jobs like janitorial positions or um, maids, construction workers. Real people don't do those jobs anymore. People have jobs like doctors, lawyers, accountants, things that they've been equipped for due to the education system. Anyway, but back to the economy, um, it's growing at a steady rate. It's not growing too fast. It's not growing too slow. I mean, people say that we need a recession every few years just to keep things in balance, but I disagree. The way the economy has been going the past 50 years, just, it looks, it looks like we're going to have a bright future. People are paying their loans off. We don't have any as many credit problems due to the fact that fewer people have started to started to use credit cards or even continue to use credit cards due to that loan crisis a few years ago. So people are really starting to use their money wisely. Okay, like seriously, what's all this hype about education? I mean, like seriously, why do we have to learn all this stuff that I don't need to learn? All I have to do is, you know, go to school and be there and then like... Be a janitor. Hey, Revolution Boy, it's me. I'm back in commenting on your education blog post. I don't know how your school is run, but I'm pretty sure both most of them are all the same. I learned seven languages. The world as it is today is an international place. You need to be able to communicate while keeping your culture, aka your language. So it's just all about integration. In preschool, everyone begins to learn... Um, English and another language and then they just keep adding more and more and I'm a sophomore in calculus too my my course load is very rigorous everyone is in these types of classes too I don't there's no longer a honors or standard level class like it was when our parents were young everyone is integrated into the same class everyone is expected to keep up with this rigorous atmosphere just so it prepares them for jobs in the future I could not be more angry! Ah! Ah! Why are all these astronauts talking about space exploration? Why can't they just be happy with Earth? Ah! Why do people are flying up there for no reason? They could sit down here and live! What the heck? Ah! 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 Hey, Revolution Boy, it's me again. Um, last time you brought up a interesting thing about other life forms and how we're pioneering space. Well, you know the Space Center was built in the early 21st century, and it's been completely finished in the past 50 years. I actually have cousins who live up there, and many people from around the world are living in the Space Center. And... The idea that it is an international space center with people from all different countries was suggested by the UN so that culture could be appreciated by everybody in a smaller con confined area. That has also helped with the peace and war discussion that's been brought up among many people.
What about war? What about war? See you, girl. What about war? In the past 50 years, most of it is done without um, people being harmed. We don't have soldiers going out there. We have bombs attacking the cities. It's not so much as putting our own troops in danger. It's putting the enemy's people in danger. Because you can't have your own people endangering themselves. That's why technology has allowed us to have machines that can go in and do the dirty work. So human hands are free of blood. Hmm? Well, Miss Smarty Pants, tell me about how you're going to save all the endangered animals now. Huh? Huh? Well, if you actually stepped out of your revolution zone, your headquarters, you could see that in the 50 years we've been able to save DNA from endangered species and clone them as to preserve animals that were being murdered and endangered in the early times of the world due to poaching and hunting and environment, environment destruction and it's it's just been great. Oh. Well, that's good news. <laughs> Can somebody please tell me why everyone is wearing the same clothes and why there is no more originality in the world? I just don't get it. I want to have original people. I mean, is it too much to ask? Gosh, and then the music taste? What the heck? Everybody's listening to stupid music. Ugh. I do agree with your post about um, that no one has any originality anymore in clothing. I feel like everyone dresses the same almost to fit into this conformity group. I mean, we may be culturally impacted, but within the American society, it's kind of like, oh, everyone shops at this store. Oh, everyone shops at this store. Stores specifically, such as Abercrombie & Fitch, Hollister. I personally shop at thrift stores to integrate into my style, old and new. So a lot of kids actually do that. They, they're anti-conformists, I guess you could say. They listen to different music. They dress differently, they do different things when they hang out, and they don't all just try to fit the mold that is the teenage culture today. Hi, uh, hello. My name is Rachyov Manchevich, and I have come to introduce the music of today. I really hope you like it. This is the first hit by Yale, and it's called Je vous te vois. Wasn't that splendid? Splendid! He loves it. And our next hit is a Swahili folk song from the 1920s. It is called Masanga. Nari na mwenda ndia yetu jado vile Ende ya piti ndia yetu ya buluo Ende ya mwambie baba bosko ana kwen Thank you very much! Goodbye! Okay. okay. <laughs>I hate Facebook mobile climate. Okay, so what are you talking about, Grace? Space exploration yes, and other life forms. We want we have aliens on Earth and um The world's changing. It's a revolution. Well um, then you guys respond. Mate! Oh my god! I mean, I'm just here because I got paralyzed from broken too big at a club. <laughs> my name's Applesauce. I'm Grace, gonna be like a different zone. Like, I don't want you to paralyze. Oh, no. Like, um, Matt, yeah. I don't want you no, to start it, was... it like that. I want you to do, like... How much more pathetic can you get? <laughs> <laughs>